What's going on? So today I'm gonna show you how to add a texture to an object in Blender version 3.3. Super fast, super easy, let's go. So I'm gonna actually show you two different methods. The first method, I've seen actually a lot of tutorials talk about this and it actually results in a error where your computer or your cube, I should say, turns pink. And then I'm gonna show you the fix for that. So first off, this is the first method I'm gonna show you. Simply you click on this material properties icon after you select the cube. Go to your base color, this yellow dot, select it, go to image texture, and then you just simply open this and add in the image, right? So let me just show you what happens when you do this. So I just selected my image. Now, if you notice right away, it just turned pink already. So if I go to the rendered view, you can see it's pink, the terrible pinkness that I don't want to see. But if I were to switch to cycles, then I can see it. Then if I go tab in edit mode, go to UV editing, and you just notice if I were to switch over to again, let's see if I can go drag this over to rendered view. And for some reason, I just don't see anything going on right now. So a fix for this is let me drag this back over. You click right there and you just drag it out. And then instead of using this, I'm gonna exit off of this image back on the materials property. Go back to object mode, by the way. So we're back on materials property again with the open this time. And instead of selecting it through there, I'm gonna do shift A, image, background. Select the image again. So now you can see I have this image of this eye. If it's distorted or whatever, you can do Option R if you're on Windows or Alt R. And then on Mac, and then pretty much you can type like GX, move it over a little bit. I'll click, select it again, just press H, you can hide it. It really doesn't matter because as long as we have it actually uploaded, then we'll be fine. And then I can click on my cube now. Instead of clicking open, you select this little down arrow and now you can see that it shows the official file versus changing it to this UDIM one. So now if I select this, now you can see the eyes there. And if we were to switch to EV, it's also showing an EV. And if I were to go over here and let me just drag this over. And in order to do that, if you're not sure, you may see which one says plus, like that plus logo and then drag. Then I can scroll on the top and then click on this option, UV editor. And then if I go back to my right right side right here with the eye, little textures option, tab into edit mode, select A to highlight everything, and zoom in, look at this. So now you can actually go ahead and you know press G, move it around, or you could technically do it how you like. I personally was trying to have it to where the eye was the literal entire thing, so I just press S to scale it, and then basically like move it like this. And as you can see, we have it looking like that. You can also go to UV and then pretty much go here to unwrap. You can smart UV project. It depends again what you're doing. But again, this super simple basic method for that. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below any other video ideas you want to see. And I'll see you in the next one.